Hello everyone, we're going to continue from here. We're going to create a simple one page app. So it's going to be a first label and then an input or entry in TK enter and then two buttons OK and cancel. So let's get started. The first create a variable call layout and it should be a 2D list. So a list inside the list and here sg dot for the label it's called text here. So we're going to write only the shortcut which is T. And then we assign the text, let's say, what's your name, for example. And then, you know, don't, don't want to write again. This comma is important. Okay, and here for the entry is I. But here we need to assign a key. So the key is going to be name, because I'm going to write the name in this input. And then the two boxes, the two buttons, sg dot, okay. And sg dot we can also do do this because it's ready button instead of doing you know instead of doing this okay we can just write this for quick search it's pre-made for us that's why I'm gonna write cancel here now if I run the code okay what's your name okay get this okay it's not working properly yet so, so if event if event is equal to cancel I want to close the window window dot close okay let's try it okay good job and now let's do if event when we click on OK so when we click on OK we want a, a pop-up to appear and say your name is and then what we wrote in this input. So if event is equal to OK. So sg.popup and here I want to print your name is and then here let's do values. It's going to be the name. So now we are accessing the input. Let's write Python as an example. Press OK. Your name is Python. OK. Good job. OK, now let's explore checkboxes. Uh, checkbox CB for checkbox. And here let's write, for example, Python or, yeah, and also the key one. Let's add another one. This is just an example checkbox 2 okay inside for example this and check this one press OK you can see here that the this checkbox the first one is checked so it's true and second one isn't checked it's false okay let's create two columns let's call it column 1 and create the second column and column two and here we're going to add check boxes we're gonna take these two add them here add the third one and create layout layout is equal to and here I want sg.call sg.column column one and then a comma and then we want a vertical line separator so sg dot vertical separator and then sg dot call for another column and then call to okay I think everything is okay let's try it in and see okay it works okay this one's too long let's make it smaller this input so here in the eye can do comma and do size is equal to so let's do it 25 long and one height okay it's still big for a name it's still big let's do it 15 okay much better let's check those two I write python here see what's the result press ok you see this one is checked, this one no, and this one is checked. 
Okay, now let's do combo box. Let's add it here, combo box, or also drop down. So for shortcut, we're going to do dot drop down, so dd, and then we need to create a list. So let's do, do l for a list is equal to, let's write for example here python. And now we're going to add here, so first l, and then size. Okay, let's do it without size. Let's see how it's going. Okay, I can make it more longer. Size is equal to 10, 8. Let's see. Yeah, much better. Oh, I did a mistake. Not here. Here, I should do it here to be in the right side. Okay. Okay, and also we can uh, we can add a default value. So default value, let's say L zero for the first item. Now, as you can see, this is the default value. So name Python. This is true, and this one is true, and one is true. So so we should add the key for the drop down. Drop down, we know because DD is drop down. And that's how we create combo boxes and drop downs.